nothing hits as hard as life. It really doesn't. Um, I'm in a bit of a position at the moment. Uh, I might lose everything. But this video is not negative whatsoever because I want to turn it into a positive because it's so important. Right, guys, um, some of you might think, well, you know, this is your private life. Um, you know, do you really want to share it? Well, I do because the Darren John channel is, is me, isn't it? I haven't got a, you know, a channel name as it were. Um, you know, I'll just use my name. So it's about me, even though most of you like the food, the food side of things. So do I, but um, you know, I like doing other things as well. So this video is basically, I just wanted to put it out there because, and it's not a mental health video either, but what it is, it's to remind people and make people aware that mental health is, is something that is, is hidden and you know we all say how are you doing yeah okay not bad mustn't grumble all those things now what's happened to me very recently uh, my company has sat me down and we had a, a bit of a meeting and they're putting me on part-time two days a week now i can't live my lifestyle on two days a week so i will probably have to move because by the way i only rent this apartment people think that i've got all this money i really haven't i just like nice things um you know i haven't got a, a ferrari or, or stuff like that i just i rent this apartment um i don't have a car <laughs> i don't drink much so I've got motorcycles. I mean, I've got a race motorbike for the track, which I've had for years. I've got my Ducati, Daisy Duke, which is my baby. And I've got a Harley. Now, I didn't love the Harley, but, you know, I even thought about selling it a little while ago. But I will have to sell it now. Um, I was going to hang on to it for, I don't know, for an investment reason later down the line, but um, it's not possible now. So two days a week, I can't, I can't stay here. Um, so, you know, I'm going to be looking elsewhere, <laughs> elsewhere to live. But this is not a video about woes me and, you know, it's, it's not about that. It's just about, it's the opposite actually, because do what makes you happy. I'm gonna, I'm fighting for my life to, to get more work, um, you know, and hopefully it'll happen, but you can only do that yourself. Um, I've been in this position before, in lockdown, I got made redundant, I had nothing, I've got a bounce back loan like thousands did. Um, and then I was coming to the end of that and the money ran out and then luckily a job came up. So just keep positive. Um, and also in amongst that, <laughs> my Ducati went into the garage about seven weeks ago, something like that because it was overheating. So it needed a new fan and then I discovered it needed a new radiator so they had to order it from Italy and it, anyway they gave me a courtesy bike exactly the same bike brand new Ducati Street Fighter V2 perfect 
That night, the same day, it was stolen. You couldn't make this up. So, cut to seven weeks later, I'll get a phone call from Ducati today, and they're saying, do you want the good news or the bad news? I said, well, I wasn't expecting any bad news, but uh, yeah, give me that. He said, right, well, um, you've got to give us £2,500 for the excess of the stolen Ducati. Oh, and by the way, your bike's ready. Nice. So I was, I think I was more put out that he, he said it in the same sentence. <laughs> that was like, really? But and you just think, you know, I, you felt really low, let me tell you. Like, what bottom? What am I going to do? And that's what made me do this video because it wasn't my fault. It was stolen. But we can't change. We can't go back in time. I wish we could. <laughs> I'll change a lot of things, trust me. We can't go back in time. So accept what, what comes to you sometimes. Like, for instance, you know, £2,500. You know, it grates on me. But what can you do? You was in charge of that, that bike at the time. And you signed the bit of paper that they push in front of you that would take you two hours to read, so no one ever reads it. And in that says £2,500 excess. So anyway, so I've got that. So this video is, is about, like I always say, I've even got it written on, airbrushed into my crash helmet. It's not the blowing of the wind that determines your destination. It's the set of the sail. So even though we're going through some difficult times, set your sail. You know, I'm, I'm very positive at the moment. Uh, yes, earlier I was beaten up. But you, you have to think to yourself, okay, so do I let this beat me? beat me down and um, just let it make you sad, depressed and all those things that is very easily done, let me tell you. But if you set your sail and just find your direction, see what direction you want to go in. Now my direction is I need more work so I need to go out there and and sell myself to get uh, back into a full-time job. Uh, this YouTube is my hobby, so I love doing it, but it doesn't earn me the money to <laughs> live on, let me tell you. So that was it really. And what I'm gonna do in the description is leave a link on this video that I watched uh, a few weeks ago and it's only a two minute video so if you click on that link just watch it for two minutes and you'll see um, something very it's dramatic but it hits a chord and it makes you think and I've shown a lot of my friends that video and it blew them away as well. So have a little watch of that because that's what life is sometimes to some people. And, you know, even for the people like us that you don't think that's not going to happen to me, um, you don't know. We, we don't know. So it's nice to be nice. Stay close to your friends and loved ones and talk to them. When they ask if you're all right and you're not all right, then say you're not all right. You know, and if you don't want to talk to family and friends, talk to someone because it's so important to open up about your feelings. You're really important. So I just wanted to share this because 
you know, I have a lot of people say, your life's great. You're earning all this money. I even had someone wanting to interview me on how much money I had. That's just absolutely crazy. I don't have money, as I said. This is not my apartment. But I think I'll be moving on soon. So anyway, you know, that's, that's the way life goes sometimes. So just keep a positive mind. Enjoy the Christmas. Really enjoy it. Surround yourself with love. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for listening, guys. Thank you.